Okay, number one, what is 25% of 20? Okay, one way you can attack this problem is think of is over of equals percent over 100. And what I wanted you to do is to drag these circles over each part of that problem that has an is and an of and a percent in it. So you can just kind of have a visual of this. Uh, remember when you drag, at least when I drag, I put my left finger down on the mouse pad and then I use my right finger to actually move it, to drag it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of those circles and put it over the first part of the problem that says what is. Okay, I'm going to take my second circle. I'm going to put it over the next uh, set that has the percent within it. Okay, 25%. Move that over a little bit so it doesn't overlap as much. Okay, take that third circle, move it over so it goes over the of part along with the number. Well, these don't uh, work perfectly, do they? Okay, but good enough. See, I want you to see that the is is right next to the word what. The percent is right after the number 25, and the 20 is right after the word of. So that kind of gives you a clue as to where the numbers go. Okay, so what is. Okay, so the is goes on the top left. So you don't know what that is, because it says what is it. Okay, so that's your x. Okay, next thing you see is 25%. Okay, so the percent number is 25, and the percent number goes on the top right. Type that in. The next thing you see is of 20. So the of number goes on the bottom left. So type in 20. In this particular uh, proportion, 100 is always on the bottom right. Always. You don't even get that from the problem. You just always put 100 on the bottom right. Okay. Uh, now use your butterfly trick because you have a proportion. We know that this times this equals this times this. Okay, so 100 times x. I'm just going to type that in as 100x is equal to whatever 20 times 25 is. And you can use a handheld calculator to figure out 20 times 25 if you need to. I did give you a link to the uh, Desmos calculator. You could click on that. Click on Scientific Calculator. Type in 20 times 25. Okay, on this calculator, you don't have to push equals. You can just see that it's 500. It tells you the answer on the right-hand side, 500. Click off of that. So 100 times the x is equal to 500. So we have 100 times x is equal to 500. Okay, so we want to get x alone. We want to get rid of a multiplied 100. So we're going to divide by 100 because we want x alone. So divide the left by 100 by just typing it underneath the fraction bar. Divide the right side by 100 by putting it underneath the fraction bar. And you guys don't have this little one. I just wanted to make a point here. 100 divided by 100 is 1. So on the left, you have 1x, which is just x. So x on the left, 500 divided by 100. I don't really think I need the calculator for that but you can use that calculator whenever you need, you get five. So type that in. So that means five is 25% of 20. Okay, so try the next problems. Uh, rewind the video. I mean, uh, bring it back some if you need to see parts of it. Uh, just use them as you need. If you can just check the problem at the very end, if you're completely sure you know what you're doing, go for it. But please make sure you're uh, filling these out the way that they are filled out on the video.